Hi and welcome back to the channel. So a couple of weeks ago I got a new exhaust for my XSR 900 and now it's time to get that beast onto the bike. I got the exhaust from a company called LM Bike Performance here in Zurich in Switzerland. So if you need any parts for your bike or do, if you need the tires exchanged or an exhaust, uh, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's head down to the garage and put this bad boy on the bike. So today I will show you guys how to basically get rid of your old exhaust and I will be changing mine into a into another exhaust. Um, I got a Thermic Dyni exhaust. Um, I'll tell you more about that later on. So to get rid of the exhaust, um, what we have to do first is we have to undo these bolts here. There are six of them, two for each cylinder. Um, once we have that, then there is a um, bracket on the right hand side of the bike where we have to, which we have to undo and then we can get the whole exhaust off. Um, as you know, on the Yamaha F MT-09s and XSR 900, as well as the Tracer 900, that's a full exhaust. So um, this whole piece will come off in one part. So you have to make sure that um, you hold it still and you don't drop the exhaust when you have all the bolts off. So I will go ahead and loosen those bolts here at the header. Number one, that's number two. Number three. Five and the last one. I'm not undoing those all the way, so they still keep the exhaust in place. So I don't drop it. And once we have that, we can then move to the bracket on the right hand side. So I'm now on the right hand side of the bike where the exhaust uh, muffler is. So as you see here, there's a bolt, this one here. We have to get this loose and then we can basically take off the exhaust. Um, the bolts at the header were a 12 mil. That's the same here. And yeah, we can just go ahead and undo that one as well. It's a bit of a hard one to get to. There we go. So once we took off the bolt, um, make sure to put it somewhere safe. We will need that for the for the other exhaust as well. Um, after that, I will undo the other bolts at the headers, and get rid of all of those, and then the exhaust should come off.
There we go. Once we have the once we have the all the bolts off, all we can do is slide this cover up here. Let me show you quickly. Um, you have to slide this cover up. Once you slide that up, there will be a little piece here where you can push in, which is attached to that one. I had to bend mine a bit outwards to get it out. Then you have to um, clip out this cable holder from this hole. And then once you have that, um, there's another um, piece here which you can just push outwards and then you can take off the cable. So once we have that, um, everything is detached now and now we can go ahead and and now we can go ahead and take off the exhaust. So now I'm on the left hand side of the bike and as you can see that back here there's another bolt. Um, we have to get this one and one as well to get the exhaust out. Um, the OEM exhaust has two bolts so um, my new exhaust will just have one. When you're doing that, also make sure that you hold on to the exhaust, so not to let it drop onto the floor. Now I can feel it wanting to drop. Um, I'll put the camera aside to this side so you can see. Now I will try to get the exhaust out as smoothly as possible and holding it here with my, with my legs. There we go. That's our exhaust. Um, when you disassemble the exhaust, also make sure that you catch all those gaskets from the headers. I will show you quickly in a minute. So one from cylinder one fell off. Um, I will reuse those. So that means I will stick them back in and yeah, see how that works. So that's it for the exhaust um, removal. I will now go ahead and install the new exhaust. So I just quickly wanted to show you the exhaust I got. Um, it's from a company called Termignoni. Um I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but yeah. Just take it as this. Um, what we got here are the free headers. Um, they're all packaged separately very nicely. Then we have here the catalytic converter. Um, I'll show you that a bit more in detail when we're um, assembling it. Then here is the silencer, the real si rear silencer. Um, here are all the holding brackets which we need to mount the exhaust. And here is the collector where the catalytic converter goes in, as well as all the free headers. Uh, what we also have here is a race DB killer um, for, for a bit better sound um, if you go on track or stuff like that. Um, then we have the manual, how to put that on and so on. But I will show you all of that later on in detail when we put this bad boy onto the bike. 
Now, when, you want to, when you want to mount this exhaust onto your bike, um, what you have to do first is get on the headers. Um, the headers that have all engraved these numbers, I'll try to show you that. Um, maybe see it. There it says Curva 1. I assume that's the um, cylinder number 1. Um, and it goes like on the left hand side of the clutch side is number 1, middle 2. Then on the right hand side where the brake is, is number 3. So how you do that is basically you take the nuts you took out and then go ahead and place the the ceiling rings in in there. I will reuse the old ones. Um, I hope that's not a problem. And if it's a problem, I'll see. I'll I'll see it. I'll just try to get uh, use those for now. Um, if you're putting these on, don't tighten it too hard. Uh, we still need to wiggle wiggle everything in once we have the collector on and the rear silencer. So it, it's okay if it's loose like that. And then we go ahead and, and then last but not least, the third one. Um, I got the black one since the, black, the original one is also black and I always like the look of the original one since it's really um, low key and doesn't draw a lot of attention to it. I mean, the silver one also looks pretty good, but yeah. Um, and next, we can then get on to the collector. So here, so here we have the collector. Um, here it's just important that this part here has to look to the right hand side, so mount it this way. And um, this can be, this can be a bit of pain in the butt. To, to align those those um, headers, but yeah. There we go. Once we have that, we then can go ahead and install the springs. Um, the springs look like that. It's just a metal spring with a cover. Um, we have to get the springs inside of the cover. Once we have that, we can then go ahead and put them onto the bike. And also note that here um, they send also this, this tool for the springs, which is really helpful. It's easier to get the springs through with that tool rather than just using a screwdriver and then messing up the finish on the, on the black exhaust. So I just bet this through here. Now I'm just pulling on this end to get the spring into this cover. Cover just basically protects the painting of the of the exhaust, the finish, so we don't mess that up. Once we have that, we can then go ahead and put this on. I'll just try to get this one on first and see how it works. Go. On the other side, there's also two. And also note that on the other side, you, on the collector, you just have one of these mounting points, whereas on the headers, you have one each. 
So what I will do is I will do the one which is further apart first and then the other one which will be obviously easier. Now so make sure that everything is really tightly in there. So now I'm gonna attach the last one. There we go. Good. So now our header is on the bike with the collector. Um, the next thing we need to do is basically um, get on all the rest. So then there we have this bracket here. Um, there is a quick cl uh, clip here, which we have to just uh, put onto this bracket. Um, this bracket then goes in where the old mount was for the exhaust, and that will then help us to mount the exhaust. Since that one is not bolted onto the bike, rather than just hold on in place with this bracket and then uh, another bracket on mount to that bracket. So once we have fitted the collector to the exhaust and all the springs, uh, what we can do then is go ahead and install the catalytic, catalytic converter uh, as this piece, which looks like that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, in Europe, you have to have these on, these, on your bikes, um, especially in Switzerland. Huge fines if you don't have them, so I'm gonna put it in. Do that is basically grab this and then put it in. You have to wiggle around a bit. Once we have that, we then can go ahead and basically install the bracket. So for the bracket, uh, we have these rubber things which we have to put in there. Um, it's fairly easy. Just go ahead and put the rubber in so it gives this protection here. So once we have that sorted, we can get our <coughs> rear muffler out and fit this on here. Once we have that, we should then be able to position the exhaust as we like. For this task, it's important that the nuts on the headers are not that tight. Otherwise, you cannot move the exhaust as you want. Once we have that, we can then go ahead and place the bracket. Um, and for the bracket there, you have to pay attention. Um, there we have a long side and here we have a curved side. So the curved side goes on the outside. So we can go ahead and place this bracket. I'll just leave it there for now. Um, with this bracket here, and where that goes is basically, let me show you. So here you have these, um, just let me get it, try to get it in focus here. Um, on the left hand side, this hole there, that's where the bolt goes in, and this empty hole here is basically where, the, where this goes in. So let me just place that there for now. It goes in like this. There you go. We can just leave it dangling there for now. So what we do is we take the original bolt um, and then we replace this washer with the washer we received in the package. It's a bit of smaller one. So here you see it. And then we place that here. And as we as we tighten this, um, it will bend a little bit here. Let me try to get in focus. So, so let's go ahead and place this play uh, in there. And 
And for the back, we then have a rubber uh, nut with a rubber in it to stop it to come off. Um, you can go ahead and install that. So the rubber nut in the back, uh, it's a 13 mil. I will keep it loose for now to be able to place the exhaust bracket. So I will leave the bracket a bit loose so I can place the other bracket in front of it to get the bolt in. Um, that should be a 5mm, I think. So I will run this through this hole. So now I have the bracket fitted. It was a pain in the butt, to be honest. <laughs> so if you have someone helping you, it should be easier. I did it by myself, so it was really not that easy. Once we have that, we can then go ahead and tighten the bolts on the headers. The torque specs on those is 20 Newton meters according to the manual, so make sure you have a torque wrench with you. Also make sure that you have clearance all around. So here for the swing arm, here for the foot pegs, and also for the, for the nut to drain the oil later on. Um, if not, you'll have a problem then later in when you want to change the oil on your bike. What we also have to do is we have to insert the sensor from the old exhaust. Uh, you can just um, put that in here and tighten it. I don't know the specs on that one. I will just do it by, by gut, let's say. Just tighten it a little bit. That should do the trick. So once you have that, you can then again clip the cable in where it was before. Then go ahead and connect this one here. And then we can slide it again here. Put, put everything thing back into space where it was. That should be good. Perfect. So, and then we can just tighten everything. And here in, on the bottom, we also have the spring which we have to attach. So once we attached everything, there are two additional bolts here on the top. Um, Make sure that you tighten these as well. And then also um, tighten the bolts on the headers with 20 Newton meters.